What if he sticks like this? Well, I don't be... It's me. It didn't before. That other boy was like it for a week. Revelio. Rebellion. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. If all the elite wizarding families have a motto. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Right. They're gone for now. I need 
need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? I need to time this just right. I see. A staircase straight ahead. able to find me if I go up there. <clears throat> this is my chance. Coming, Neve. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like the only safe way for... Closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. my chance. That's the way forward. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power.
bombarder. Huh. 
must be for me. We won't be the same without her. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, Niamh, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Revelio. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. 
I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against Wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Where could Archie have gone? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him! Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow! I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave. 
in case he comes back home. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. Rebellion. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must Rebellion. find Archie quickly. with that wolf pack. We should look around. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Rebellion. We must find Archie. Confringo! Taking in children now, are we? Prepare. Levioso, Protego, Akio, Bombardier. I'm going to do this all day. 
Don't do horizontally back for more. Bombarda. You've made a <laughs> Is this Hogwarts best? <laughs> I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Bombarda! <laughs> Lumos. Lumos. Your help. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Hello, Hamora. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. darling. Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. 
My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. <laughs>